Massachusetts condo owners, you could breathe a sigh of relief. All markets saw home price appreciation, but what the heck happened with the sales levels? It seems like our sales levels were starting to rebound, no? But now it's more like a story of, well, two steps forward and, well, one major step back. Last month, we had asked if the condo market was going to walk into the condo price depreciation territory. It seems like we could table that conversation for now. The data, it isn't great, but with a half year down, they continue to outperform most markets in the country. If you're looking to hear about the Massachusetts real estate market data for single family homes, condos, as well as multifamily properties, then you're in the right place. Real quick, hey, it's Jeff Chubb. I'm a recovering investment banker turned real estate agent. I've sold more than a thousand houses. If you have any questions in regards to real estate, then nope, I'm here to help. By the way, we've changed how the real estate industry operates. We now offer our services as a pay-as-you-go model. Instead of paying the traditional 2.5% when you buy a house or sell it, it's modeled identically off the law industry. Home buyers, they can save thousands, possibly tens of thousands of dollars. I've got this video right up here that you should check out if you're looking to find out more information about it. And I'll also have this video at the end of, well, this video. Let's start with the single families. In June of 2024, we saw 3,876 single family houses sell for an average sales price of $880,000. I mean, that's been a pretty straight line of month over month sales level increases, but we just fell way short of June of 2023. The 3,876 single family houses that sold in June was 10.9% less than the same year last year when we sold 4,351 single family homes. That's a big jump backwards and now means that three out of the last six months, we've seen sales levels decrease year over year. Sales levels are down by about half percent when you compare to the first half of 2024 to the first half of 2023. But as everyone knows, the depressed sales really don't matter because we know that home values are tied to the inventory levels, not sales levels. The June year over year single family property value increase was seven and a half percent. Now I said the seven and a half percent showing last month was pretty darn good. So I think it's safe to say that seven and a half percent this month, well, that's pretty darn good too. With a half year down, home prices in Massachusetts are up by 8.1% year over year. Now, this was a slight pullback on the 8.8% recording that we had for the first five months. But all in all, this is a great appreciation rate for sellers and a heck of a lot better than the double digit home value increases that buyers were dealing with in the years past. Now, onto the yearly sales comparison levels. Yeah, the 3,876 homes sold sucked. That was the worst June recording since 2005. Well, since I've been keeping track in 2005, but I, I think this graph really shows you, puts it in perspective of actually how bad it was. Home sales suck. They're going to continue to suck. I have embraced the suck a long time ago, and it's pretty safe to say that the suck is going to continue for some time. Ouch. That two month run of year over year sales increases didn't just come to an end, it crashed and burned. Like I said last month, I really don't see sales levels jumping higher unless interest rates were to fall by a lot. Think the 5% range. Otherwise, I think these sales levels continue to just plug along and, well, continue to be in that suck range, if you will. And we can officially make that 48 consecutive months or four years of year over year home price increase. It's just crazy. Well, maybe not crazy if you're a property owner, more like awesome. Will we hit five years of continuous year-over-year -year price increases? The only thing standing in the way is a surge in inventory. The more inventory grows and the softer the market becomes. And we ended the month with 5,149 single-family homes on the market. Year-over-year -year inventory levels are up an astounding 42.3%. And I believe inventory levels are going to continue to grow. My continued prediction is that inventory will peak at around 5,500 units. After that inventory peak of, again, I'm guessing 5,500 units, then we're going to see the fall inventory pullback. But here's the thing. This is the second month in a row that we've had the highest inventory levels in the last four years. For clarification purposes, it's still a great market to be a seller in. It's just not as good as last year, and especially the year before that. Sellers need to be cognizant of a possible softening market moving forward. You heard that right. We spent all of June way above the inventory levels of 2023 and nearly the entire month above the 2022 levels. It will be interesting to see what the final late inventory surge after the 4th of July holiday is going to look like. We now have 1,565 more single family homes on the market 
compared to today, well, being the end of June of 2024, they compared that to the June of 2023. 266 more houses than compared to June of 2022. And this could be a situation that is setting the scene for an amazing fall market for home buyers. New listings were also up year over year. We listed 5,076 single family homes in Massachusetts in June of 2024. This was a 10% increase when compared to June of 2023. And here's one that I think makes sense to keep track of as I think it's gonna be a great indicator as to the softness of the market. Because the more price reductions that you see, then the softer the market, right? In June of 2024, we saw a 25% increase in price reductions throughout Massachusetts. We saw 456 single family houses do a price reduction again in the state of Massachusetts in June. Now, quick recap. So sales in the single family market were down by 10.9%, while inventory was up by 42.3%. The number of new listings were up by 10% when compared to last year's numbers, while we saw a 25% increase in price reductions for June of 2024. The historical home price trend continues, and this should be the peak for pricing for Massachusetts in 2024. Now, as I mentioned earlier, home prices in Massachusetts, they're up by 8.1% for the first half of 2024. And we have the condo market and the multifamily market up next. But first, any chance you can just do me a huge favor, this just helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you hit that like button right down there, it just makes a huge difference to me as well as the channel. And if you're liking the content, then I appreciate considering subscribing. We saw 1,652 condos in Massachusetts close in the month of June for an average sales price of $742,000. Let's start with the sales data. Sales levels were down by 16.1% year-over-year. The 1,652 condos sold in Massachusetts for the month of June was compared to the 1,970 units that sold in June of 2023. The total year-over-year -year sales level decline took a big jump from being down 3.6% for the first five months of the year to now being down 5.3% when looking at the first half of 2024 data with 7,715 condos being sold compared to the 8,148 in 2023. Now, the condo market has been all over the place when it comes to year-over-year -year comparisons on sales levels. The 16% sales decline wasn't the worst showing for 2024. The worst month was January when we saw a 22% year-over-year sales decline. Like the single-family market segment, the condo market, it sucked. Our sales levels were pretty much exactly on par with June of 2020. Think back to what was going on in June of 2020. That was like a COVID where no one wanted to be in close proximity to one another, which included living in condo buildings. Inventory growth continues in the condo market as well. The 2,823 condos on the market in Massachusetts is 32.4% higher than the inventory levels in June of 2023. Like the single family market, this is a four year high for inventory levels in the condo market in Massachusetts. And this is great news for condo home buyers. More crazy than the single family market is that the condo market has seen inventory levels higher than the levels seen in 2021 for three out of the last four weeks in June. As we close the doors on June, we had 719 more condos on the market compared to this time in 2023, 250 more when compared to 2022, and 207 more when compared to 2021. We saw a pickup in the amount of new listings for the condo market as well. The 2,102 new condo listings for June was an increase of 6.6% year over year. We also saw an uptick in price reductions as well. There are 151 condo price reductions in Massachusetts, which equates to a 38.5% increase year over year. As a year-over-year -year sales comparison, sales were down by 16.1%. New listings, they were up by 6.6%. Meanwhile, inventory was up by 32.4%, with the number of price reductions increasing by 38.5% year-over-year. Home prices, they were up in June. This month kind of pulled the condo market out of a home price trend line, well, rut. The average sales price of $742,000 was 7.3% higher than the average sales price in June of 2023, when it was $692 grand. Now, the longer term look for year over year sales price increases and decreases doesn't make the last quarter look all that bad. It kind of makes April and May possibly look like, well, outliers. Soon, time's going to tell a lot. Look at that bounce back, though. Is this a one off? That's the question that we will soon get some answers to. Year to date, condo prices in Massachusetts are up by 4.6%. Now, we reported this number as 4% in May. And now for my very quick and shameless plug. If you're thinking about buying or selling a home, then reach out to me today as I would be honored to help guide you through the process. Now onto the multifamily market. In May of 2024, we saw 454 multifamily sell for an average sales price of $810,000. The 469 units sold 
was a 13.6% decrease in the year-over-year -year sales levels for June. This means that year-over-year -year sales levels are now up by only 3%. More of the same, the 469 sales wasn't great. It puts us behind last year and pretty much every other year, with the exception of June of 2020. Sales were weaker, but what was going on with inventory levels? Inventory has been growing. There are currently 813 multifamily properties on the market. Inventory levels are up by 32.8% year over year. But we did not really see a spring inventory build in the multifamily market like we have in other years. It's been very similar to 2023, but just a little bit higher. We saw inventory growth over the 2023 levels each week in June. We had 163 more multifamily homes on the market than compared to 2023 at the end of June. Now, we listed 3.5% more multifamily properties than we did back in 2023 because we listed 701 multifamily homes in June of 2024, which is compared to 677 multifamily homes in June of 2023. And I was a little shocked at how much the multifamily market year-over-year -year prices pulled back from the levels that we were seeing the month prior. Because year-over-year, that $828,000 was 3.1% higher than the levels we recorded in June of 2023. But the June appreciation levels are by far the lowest we've seen in the first half of 2024. Multifamily properties pricing is now up by 10.7% for the first six months of 2024. Is this a one-off? Or does this mean that the slow and steady buildup of inventory levels are starting to take some effect in the marketplace? I want to talk about your own personal real estate needs again. It's Jeff Chubb. Whether you're looking to buy or sell a home in the next nine or 90 days, then I would love to chat with you and just find out more about your real estate goals. And if you know of anyone that's thinking about buying or selling a house, then I truly appreciate you keeping me in mind and passing along my contact information. You can visit youtuberealestateagent.com or find all my contact information in the description below right down there. Until next time. Oh, and check out that video on how we changed the buyer real estate market industry as a whole. It's crazy.